Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. I'm Jacob Letman. Before we get going with today's video, if you recently signed up to drive Uber in the United States but you forgot to use a referral code when you signed up or you didn't know that you could use a referral code, you can use a retroactive sign-up code to get a sign-up earnings guarantee of up to $1,000 when you start driving with Uber. It could be $100, $300, $500, $700, or $1,000, depending on what part of the United States you're signing up to drive in. But again, if you forgot to use a referral code, go down into the video description below. It's eight simple steps to use a retroactive sign-up code, and you can get your earnings guarantee of up to $1,000 to start driving for Uber right now. Check it out. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Ride Share Hub. Happy to have you all here. I'm Jacob Letman. This is the Ride Share Hub. So I've had this question posed to me a few times from other drivers and uh, it's a great question. And uh, today we're gonna delve more into it, dissect it a little bit, talk about it, chop it up. Um, and the question is, when I'm trying to determine how much I'm making an hour, should I be looking at my booked time or should I be looking at my online time? That's a very fair question. Um, and I would say both. So uh, I think that at least for me, sometimes my online time, sometimes it's very accurate to how often I'm working or how much I'm actually working throughout that week. And sometimes uh, it's less accurate. Sometimes. I'll be signed on, but I'll be in an area that I know is kind of slow, and uh, I'll just be hanging out, answering emails, um, working on other stuff, submitting myself to acting roles, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Um, and other times I'm grinding, you know? Other times, or and also, you know, another good example, sometimes when I get up in the morning and I don't have a scheduled pickup yet, uh, I'll log on while I'm getting ready and, uh, just, you know, just kind of going through stuff, getting coffee, getting ready for the day. Um, and so that's not really working either. So here's what I would say. I want to show you guys, I'm going to take you through this, this breakdown here, this weekly earnings breakdown and uh, we're gonna look at you know what I earned throughout the week and then I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna show you why I think it's important to keep track of how much you're actually working and uh, I would say I would categorize actually working as um, trying to get a ride so you're putting yourself in, you're driving somewhere that's going to be a place with more rides, you're trying to be in a place that's busy, you're actively trying to get rides. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at this week, shall we? we start out here with Monday morning, had six rides, and uh, slide down here. So 3.20 p.m., um, a good ride, solid ride to start my my rides, uh, 23.7 miles, $18.37, nice little $3 tip there. Um, and then a $5 ride, $4 ride, $3 ride plus a tip, $5.30, a $9 ride, and then finishing up around $7.45 ish with a $9.59 ride. So not a lot of driving uh, to start off the week there. Uh, let's see, $8.62 in tips for the grand total of $59 for my Monday. And um, my schedule is so wacky, so all over the place. Just depends entirely what's going on uh, that week. But typically what I try to do is uh, if I have something going on in the morning, like I did Monday, um, probably had an audition or something, then I'll come back the next day and do what I did with Tuesday here, where I gave 16 rides. I'll try and get up early in which I did successfully do. Um, got up at 5.45 a.m. and the only way that I'm doing that is for a scheduled pickup ride or golf. Food, no, golf or a scheduled pickup ride. Golf and money, that'll get me out of bed. Um, so yeah, 5.45 a.m., scheduled pickup ride, probably an airport ride, 28 miles, $21. Uh, then that took a half hour, so 6.15. Then I was hanging out for a while, waiting. Sometimes 
if I get to the airport that early, this is like the only time I'll jump in the airport queue. If there's like one or two people in, ahead of me, sometimes three, but I've sat there for a long time making that mistake, jumping in the airport queue. So it looks like I probably did that uh, because it was another half hour before I got a ride and it wasn't even really worth it. Only a six mile ride, so that was kind of a waste of waiting around. Okay, then we kept it going, $5, $6, $6, a little longer at eight o'clock with $11. Short one, $262, $833, $262, and then I took a break, probably tired, because I got up so early. And I don't get up that early because I don't like getting up that early because I'm not a morning person. I sound like I got up too early this morning right now. All right, so anyway, I took a break, got some lunch probably, took a snooze, painted something, probably not that. Uh, went back out at two, started with a nice $7.64 ride plus $3 tip. 312, $12, short guy, 262, then 390, 679, and I finished up around 745. Uh, 16 rides, full day of driving, um, 108, $12 tip, 410 and bonuses, so there you go, $124 uh, for that full day of driving. Phew, and then Wednesday, I probably slept all day. No, I didn't. I got up, I did seven rides, nothing extraordinary, but let's take a peek, shall we? Another morning, another scheduled pickup early on, 30 miles this time. Lucky they got there alive, I'm sure I was tired. All right, $24, then a passenger decline, their loss, they could have been with me having fun. Um, $6, another passenger cancellation, but I got the five for that. Uh, 587 and then I took a break again went back out in the afternoon starting at 1241 you can see there four dollars Ooh, and then back to back good rides 26 miles for twenty dollars and uh, and then 17 and a half miles for 1590 plus a six dollar and 31 cent tip oh yeah we'll take it and then finishing up at 520 with 427 so um, not a whole lot of hours put in for this day not bad though $95 with the tip and the cancellation all right making progress through this week quite nicely and then uh, finished up took Thursday Friday off I don't know why maybe just didn't want to work playing some golf no I'm just kidding I try to work. All right, didn't start this day until 4.30 in the afternoon and uh, determined I was going to do some night rides. But just look at this here, right? So three, six, so eight rides, seven out of eight rides tipped on Saturday. Ooh, that weekend vibe, you know what I'm saying? And the only one that didn't was a long ride anyway, $17. Um, but look at that, yeah, that's great. $6 ride, $6, $7, 10, a nice $18 ride plus a $10 tip, um, $17, $12. So didn't definitely didn't put in a lot of time. Uh, let's see, 4.30 to 8.45, so just over four hours of work. And uh, yeah, just over four hours of work for $113. Look at those tips. Tip game, strong there. Uh, weekends tend to do that very well. So, okay, so we got those numbers. I wanted to show you guys that so you know what we're dealing with here. But this is what I really want to look at for this video to make my point on why I think it's really important uh, to keep track of how much you're actually working so that you can uh, accurately determine how much you're, you're making per hour. So, because if you just go off of these, right, book time for me, five, 15 hours and 12 minutes, that's a huge difference from my online time, which was 26 hours. That's huge. That's 11 hours different. I don't know. I mean, I'll tell you how. Because it was the summertime here in Phoenix, and it slows down, and there's a lot of dead times, and I actually probably was accurately 
Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, hang on one sec. Bear with me. I hate when this happened. Um, my laptop. I need to change the setting on that. Fell asleep. And I need that to keep the screen recording going for us. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. Um, so anyway... There's a lot of times I actually am a actively trying to get a ride, but it's so slow during the summertime here. That's why there's that big uh, difference between the book time and the online time. Now, again, this is why I think it's important to uh, keep track of that. So, um, so we got those stats there. Let's pull up the calculator. Let's look at this. So 396. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Thanks for the ad. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm too cheap to pay for the ad-free calculator on my iPad. Weird. All right, so 396 is what I made total. We're gonna take uh, we're gonna take 50 out for gas, which I think is very close to accurate. Um, so 346 first. We're going to uh, we're gonna take a look and see what that is hourly for. We will say 15. So it was 15 hours and 12 minutes. Let's just do 15 and a half hours. So there you go. So after gas, that would come out to be $22 an hour, which is pretty solid uh, thanks to those tips. Um, so 346, again, that's what I made after um, gas. We're gonna divide that now by 26 hours. And look at that, $13 an hour. So almost, almost a $10 an hour difference uh, between the booked time and the online time. And you can see there's really no way to accurately figure out how much you're making an hour unless you keep track of that. So what I started doing is I got a note, notepad and uh, I st started keeping track of like um, when I actively started like driving or if I got my first ride, then if I went somewhere, let's say I went home and left the app on while I was eating lunch and I knew it was slow, I'll keep track of that. Anyway, and I just do that because it's important to me to know about how much I'm making an hour uh, so I can keep tabs on that, relay that information to you guys, um, and just know if this is lucrative or not. I'm tracking it all over the three years I've been driving. Um, anyway, that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this video on book time versus online time. Thanks for being here. You guys are awesome. Until the next time, everyone, drive safe out there.